Know ye that the Lord he is God, it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture, Psalms 100 verse 3. It is important to have attitude of gratitude, and an eagerness to praise God because time, he has always shown, and proven his faithfulness. God is the God above all, he created the heavens, the earth, the universe, and he still knows you by name, isn't that amazing? Psalms 103 verse 12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Contemporary Christian recording artists Casting Crowns released a song several years ago, which asked, Jesus, can you show me just how far the east is from the west? The songwriter expresses great concern that the man, he's, been may be rising up in him, again, he expresses a need for a confirmation from God that his sins have indeed been removed from him. If we think about the East Coast versus the West Coast of the United States, or if we think about the world in general, the Eastern Hemisphere versus the Western Hemisphere, this scripture implies great distance. That implication shows us just how far God has removed our sins from us. It's not as if he moved in right next door, he didn't take them from us, and kept them close to us at the same time. He takes our sins from us, and moves them far away from us, he disconnects us from our sins. We are no longer defined by the transgressions of our lives. In that space between the East and the West, He saves us, He justifies us, He sanctifies us, He sends His Spirit to us so that between our transgressions, and us lies, our whole Christian life. This is a very hopeful verse, because it lets us know that God does not hold our transgressions against us, He doesn't keep them nearby so He can pull them out and show them to us to remind us of who we were, He removes them from us, and He replaces them with so much more, devotion topic is, remember what the Lord has done, Jesus has just cured a man who had been unable to walk for 38 years, lying beside the healing waters of Bethesda with no one to put him into the water, after Jesus heals him, he finds him to warn him against sinning, does this seem weird, well let's think about it, a man who can't walk can't get into too much trouble, now, he has choices, and he may be tempted to make poor ones, God answers our prayers too, when we are in trouble and praying for God's help, our focus is on God and trying to work things out, once everything is great again, we often forget about God, and get back into the same trouble, or worse, many people have prayed to become rich, to win a lottery, or get an inheritance, and then what happens, in the majority of cases, the money can lead to a spending spree, a dissatisfaction with one's spouse, job, home, etc., and the person loses what he has gained, and more as the family, the job, the home, etc., are, now gone. God's message to the man who was healed is the same for us, just as we turn to God in times of trouble, we must not turn away from God when all is going well. If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it, and remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.